how do you get documentation out <laughs> of this? Okay, so I think this is the point where, where we can talk about um, how the um, uh, materials and, how the, and yeah, hatches how, and how the hatches appear because we, we, we already saw how the hatches appear on the 2D level and there is one another thing that I would like to talk about and that is before we uh, move mm -hmm. on to this step and that is the which we call the layer uh, um, function. Pr uh, yeah the layer function yeah, the layer function now in this case it is set to very low now if I would like to make sure that the uh, core layer is always finding the other core layer. Let's just imagine this sort of connection. It's like so, a T connection. Like a T nice. connection. So I don't want uh, the, the connection to be broken up by any sort of third or, or fourth layer. I just want the, these two layers to meet uh, in the junction. I need to set them uh, to a higher level. There's actually a setting which is the strongest setting for core layer. You can tell that this is a core layer. They must always be connected. And in this case, you won't end up with, with strange uh, connections. Okay, so this is all about the 2D. I mean, all about the, the floor plan. And how about the section? Now, the section, let's just talk about how to create a section first. We already covered that, but uh, I think it's wise yeah. to uh, refresh, refresh that. So there is uh, the documentation and there's the section. I just simply start that. And uh, to be able to see the hatch on the section, I need to enable this, this option. Let's also just... Level lines, something that we don't need, but just generate. Okay, a that's, uh, so we will we will see how to uh, disable and enable things if you you, you don't want to see uh, some of those. So let's just create a, a section here. Just uh, look at look at this. I I only create the section from here to here. When I click on yes, by default the software will create an infinite <coughs> section plane. So I I see the other part also intersected. This is cool because this is how it's, how it's meant to uh, be, but you can control this as well. So uh, if you go back to the settings and you change the properties of this uh, section, you can find that, that part which is for the partial section view. So if you enable that option and you tell OK, update that, yeah, then you will see only that specific part. And you can even enable or disable other things like, for example, now I don't want to see these level lines. Uh, so in that case, I again go back to the settings, properties, and then I go and find that this is called the level annotation lines. So I just disable that. And as you can see, there are other, other options, like you can also set up, set up a zero depth section, crops, crop region, and, and all sorts of other things, which you already covered in other uh, um, webinars. But now I'm, I'm, I'm fine with all of these, so I just hit OK, and yeah. And then now I have kind of a partial uh, section view of the whole drawing which I already uh, created. Just one thing, because I'm pretty sure that you're going to talk about this later yeah. on, but uh, these sections are still in living connection with the model itself. Yes, yes, that's so, right. So if you select something, you can see that that's a window. You can actually go to the settings and you can change it on the section as well, of the course. The point being that this is not the part where you would actually do documentation. So if you want to add additional details or drawing, that's not the part where you do it. We'll talk about that as well, yeah, how, yeah. how to do it. This is uh, the main reason why we pull this up is to talk about uh, material settings and hatches. Yeah. So let's see what we have here. Actually, I have, let's just talk about the, the slab. The wall looks cool. Yes. That's, that's, fine. that's fine. There is a hatch here and a, a thermal installation here. I forgot to set this up or I didn't, even didn't know I should, I should set this up. How uh, this hatch can be changed for the uh, core layer of this slab if I did not uh, didn't uh, do that before. So let's just go here. Let's, let's find what's that. I go to the slab layers and that's actually the reinforced concrete. And now you can go to the settings of the, of the material itself and the material has its own, not just the physical properties or appearance which we mainly handle when you create visuals, but there is also a setting for the hatch in 3D, this, will, this I will cover soon, mm -hmm. and there is a hatch on section and this is what I need. Now it looks like that on the section because it is set to look like that. A certain hatch pattern. A certain hatch pattern. But if I just would like to change it to something else, I can either go there and find something which fits better. Uh, for example, this here or uh, something else. Like let's just go here and I, I, I have something that I, I like to use that's an ISO uh, hatch for the uh, for the reinforced concrete. I can even, I can even create my own mm -hmm. uh, patterns. So let's just go with this. I think that's fine. The color is also fine. That should I be black. I can always fine tune that, but. And then let's say, okay. So when I do that and I just close these things up and, I, and if I use this material all around, it won't only be updated here when I choose to uh, update this uh, section, 
but it will be also updated everywhere else. Yes, that's that's a that's a quick good disclaimer that this is not only like a localized <coughs> change but also a global one because now yeah. we are we are changing a material setting which is in our object library. Yeah. So this is going to be changed everywhere where this thing is present. And uh, I think there is one other thing which I uh, did not mention when we created this whole sort of tru structure, and it's and it's the reason why this connection looks okay. And the reason behind that, as you can see, the, the slab is created with the outer contour, and it's, and it's quite obvious mm -hmm. here. But still, the structure connects properly. And, that's, and the reason behind that, there is a built-in uh, priority order in the software, which can be uh, fine-tuned. But this, the priority order tells the software that uh, if a wall finds um, a slab, the wall should be the winner. Mm -hmm. It should be the one keeping its own generated uh, shape and it should cut into uh, the slab. So this way, just imagine you have uh, partition walls that, that are running through this whole building and you don't have to create those you know, connections Cut and things. Like, they, they're automatically solved just because of this. Uh, how about elevations? And um, the reason I'm asking that is because on elevations, you sometimes want to show the texture, right? Yeah. But the thing that you have set up before is the, the texture and hatches on sections. Yeah. Are there any differences? Yes, yes. Uh, well, uh, let's just load the, the following project. I have prepared this uh, the other project, which is um, um, ac actually an idea of what you can do uh, with, the, with the sections. So you will see uh, how, like how it was further example. progressed, uh, how this sort of section was further uh, detailed in a, in a real building. Mm -hmm. And then this, this uh, building will be a good example to show you how to create this, uh, the elevations as well. So there is, a, there is a 2D section drawing. As you can see here, everything is already detailed. Uh, the 2D is, is also detailed. We will talk about the, uh, these sort of things. And what we can see here is the, is the section. Now, the section, this uh, features all the um, hatchings. And you know there are all already uh, other details which we are, which we'll cover soon. We already covered how to create um, serial uh, dimensions, but I will show you again, so so you will you will find how to how to create that. But this is already um, kind of finalized uh, section. Now this is where we could talk about how to create something like uh, like this, mm -hmm. an, an elevation drawing. With What's the, the difference between between design. that and the and the other thing? So now I actually. Uh, go here and there's a, in this project navigator there is actually a dedicated tool to generate the elevations and I think now I will create the, the, yes. the north elevation. Yeah, let's just do that. Which automatically generates a view uh, of the 3D model which appears here behind. Now this is still 3D, even though it looks like 2D, but this still features the original window, the original uh, slab. You can actually yes, you can see, see it, there, it, it appears there. So you, when you modify this with the settings, you actually modify the original item. So that's not a drawing, that's, a, that's, that's still the model. It's a view to the model, a specific view, an elevation view. So how to control what happens here, how to control what we see here. Uh, you can actually set up a different sort of view, uh, not just a linear drawing, but something which uh, resembles more to uh, an elevation view than to a line drawing. And this you can set up by changing the shadow or shading settings as well. Uh, so you can actually add some uh, elevation shadow. Let's just start here because that's, that's what I want, an elevation shadow, and it's controlled by this uh, setting here. And I can set up a a, uh, a shaded with texture view, which is in this specific case, this, this literally means that the texture will appear as a line drawing uh, of that material. Mm -hmm. So let's just go with this, okay? So the software calculates this uh, shadow. Uh, if you saw our webinar about how to create uh, shadow analysis and things like that, you saw this happening. So now we have this, uh, this uh, elevation view. And it's as still you can in see, connection with the model, yeah, right? this is still the, still the model. Uh, you can see the, uh, the window has its left and right settings and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. You can even change the size of this and update the, the elevation view. And, and what I'm talking about is this here. Why this pattern looks like this, even though the model features a different sort of material. Mm -hmm. And it's this, in this case, of the, by the maker, it was intentionally. Uh, uh, created like this because this is something that you can control through the material. It's it's always controlled through the material. Let's let's just find this material. This material is, and uh, it's it's a it's a stone, a limestone uh, cladding. Yes, cladding. Yeah. So let's just go to the settings. Let's just double click on it. 
to go to the details. And as you can see, there was this physical properties, the appearance, and there is this hatch in, in 3D. And this is, this is what controls what we see. As you can see, the hatch is a brick pattern. And that's that's it here. Mm, so this is this has nothing to do with the hatch on section. This is a different <coughs> setting. Yeah, that, so one material could have several representations set up. Yeah, yeah. One for sections, one for elevations, and just as just as like. many times, just as you imagine, we talked about the thermal insulation. Mm -hmm. The thermal insulation, at least in in, in, in my country, it should be uh, you know just uh, visualized by this wavy line. Uh, but uh, on the elevation, if it's somehow visible, it should be something like a dotted pattern yes. or something like that. Mm -hmm. And this is the same with this with this pattern. Perhaps this uh, this limestone cladding should have uh, a, a very uh, different uh, to the hatching on the on the two D level. I mean, on the on the on the real drawing, if it's intersected, and on the section and in the elevation. So this is how you can uh, make them different, and this is also where you can make them uh, similar just mm -hmm. by changing these uh, settings. Okay, let's just go with this, so we understand why this pattern looks like that. Uh, and also, I would like to show you another example for uh, how you can control this. Let's just go here. As you can see, there is this pattern. Let's just understand why it looks like that. Uh, go to the, the material reason. settings. So the material settings are set up that way. That so that's uh, a stone wall. Let's just go to the details. That stone wall has a hatch in 3D, uh, which is a rock wall. That's fine if I would like to see that. But for example, sometimes I just don't want to see these third surface mm -hmm. features appearing on my elevation because they just draw the attention to someplace else where I want to. So I just either mm -hmm. make it dimmer or I just simply disable that. And I say, okay, this time I don't want to see that. And then when I update the 3D, let's just update the, the whole 3D. There is this 2D. And then from the 2D, I update the 3D. Which so it, gener the... it regenerates all the dynamic drawings. And then when you see, see that here, now this stone pattern mm -hmm. disappeared because I told so.